first leg, <laughs> the first leg, <laughs> in the second leg, <laughs> in the second leg, <laughs> in the second leg, <laughs> we got to the <laughs> Welcome to The Blitz, I'm Frankie Tovar. I'm Angelina Martin. And this week we have the Sack Walking Section Division 5 semifinal matchup. That's right, number six Hilmar is hosting number seven Casa Roble. Hey, we're gonna win this game and then we're gonna go with a blue, all right? Yeah! Yeah! Both of these teams are coming off upset victories which saw them earn come from behind wins. And Hilmar is fighting for its seventh section title appearance in the last 10 years. If they win this game, they advance. That will be a tough task, however, because Castle Robo QB Jason Lindahl comes into the game with over 1,600 passing yards and just two interceptions on the season. But Frankie, Hilmar is known for their defense. How do you think they've made it to so many section title games? It sounds like a classic high-powered offense versus stout defensive matchup, so let's see how it all shakes out on the Friday Night Highlights. When it comes to Castle Roble, everyone knows Jason Lindahl is a threat. The senior QB connects with Logan March for a 12-yard completion, and then he shows his elusiveness. Lindahl evades the sack and picks up five yards with his legs. He hits the sideline, but he's hit hard. And on fourth and seven, the Rams go for it, but it is incomplete. That is a TOD. And that's a sign of things to come because turnovers would be a trend for Hilmar's defense. Here's another TOD on fourth and two from the Castle Roble 35. A risky call that backfires and gives the Jackets fantastic field position. Hilmar capitalizes on the opportunity with a five-play scoring drive. Here's Lane Cardoso with a seven-yard run that's good for a first down. And that's followed by Jason Pimentel who hits the edge and picks up 18 yards. He's down at the one, so on the next play, he punches it in for the touchdown. Hilmar leads 7-0 to zero thanks to this run with four minutes left in the first. The Jacket D was on point from the start of Friday's game. Here's Nicholas Vitorino with a strip sack. This was his first game back since an injury in August, and he tore it up. That directly leads to a punt and a one-play scoring drive from Hillmar. Pimentel drops back and finds Brock Perry on the screen pass. And when it comes to Perry, you just got to give him the ball and he'll do the rest. The senior back is gone for 49 yards. That's a touchdown. Hillmar leaves 14 to zero. And I think Castle Roble is surprised by what's happening. Well, the surprises keep coming for the Rams and not in a good way. Lindahl connects with Kurt Lewis, but Lewis Vargas dislodges the ball. Pimentel makes the recovery at the 22 yard line. And four plays later, he makes a tremendous play on a 16 yard touchdown run, literally ramming through the Rams, boom. The score is 21 to zero and Casa Robo looks to be in trouble. And after another Rams TOD, the Jackets shoot for the moon. Pimentel hits Derek Taylor on a 40 yard pass and he's down at the four yard line. And this drive is capped by Perry who dives into the end zone for the four yard touchdown to extend Hillmar's lead 27 to zero. With less than a minute before halftime, Hilmar decides it wants more. Pimentel again connects with Taylor here, who goes over the top and reels in this 36-yard touchdown pass. That's the play of the game, and the halftime score is 34-0. to zero. Now before we check out the second half highlights, let's recognize our sponsor. Are you a buyer looking to purchase your ideal home? Are you a seller wanting to get top dollar for your home? No matter what your real estate goals are, if you're looking to win in this market, Michael Rocha is your go-to realtor. Voted best realtor by 209 Magazine and Trillot Journal Reader's Choice, Michael Rocha has a proven track record of success throughout the Central Valley. Find out what Michael Rocha can do for you and your real estate needs by contacting him today at 209-485-5228. You can also stay up to date with Michael by following him on Instagram and on Facebook. The Rams are trying to put the first half in the rear view and it looks like the offense is finally moving. Josh Taylor takes the handoff and dashes down the sideline. He's moving with speed and this is nearly a 70 yard pickup, but there's holding on the play. Tough break for Casa Roble because this drive ends in an interception. Taylor steps in front of the pass for the second turnover of the game. And on the Rams' next possession, Hillmore makes it three as Gerardo Ponce jumps on the fumbled handoff. This defense hit the field ready to play. Pimentel and Taylor also came ready to play. Here's one of the best catches you'll see on a Friday night as Taylor snags the 17-yard pass, towing the line like a pro. Pimentel tries to notch another touchdown on the ground right here with this three-yard run, but he is denied. So a few plays later, Perry will show him how it's done. 
That's a one-yard touchdown, and that's 41 unanswered points from the Yellow Jackets. And the Rams say you might score 41 unanswered, but you won't score one touchdown more. Castle Rubble catches a break on an abandoned punt attempt and takes over on the four-yard line. That leads to a three-yard touchdown from Dylan Crabtree to avoid the shutout, but the fact still remains, Hilmar is headed to the championship game. Uh, we came out, we played as a team, and we did great. I think our key to success is that we're truly a family. We all love each other and we play together every day. I love to expect this every game, but you know, we came in, we knew that they were a great team. Their quarterback is amazing. They had that really good receiver number 11. I think he was out for a while, but we just came in and played football, had fun. This is a, really a dream come true. My freshman year, I moved up uh, for the sections game. and It was a blast. Even though we lost, it was a great experience. I'm super excited to do it again. We just want to go out there, play our hardest, get a blue banner, bring it back to Helmar. Team totals from the night are going to be lopsided if you paid attention to those highlights. Hillmar High, 302 yards of total offense. Castle Robo High, 190 yards of total offense. And of course, Hillmar was led by some outstanding individual offensive performances. Jason Pimentel, the quarterback, he's been doing it all postseason long. He continued that tonight. 7 of 14 with 157 passing yards and two touchdowns. He also rushed for 69 yards on nine carries and had two rushing touchdowns himself. Derek Taylor, 127 all-purpose yards at wide receiver with one touchdown. That earned him the Blitz player of the game. And Brock Perry, he had 87 all-purpose yards with three touchdowns Friday night. As for the Rams, no surprise here, their standout player was the quarterback, Jason Lindahl. He went nine for 21, 84 passing yards, and one interception. A far cry from what he's used to doing out on the football field, and that's a credit to Hillmar's defense. They definitely neutralized the threat in Lindahl. And they did what they've been doing all postseason. They forced turnovers, three on the night to be exact. They also sacked Lindahl two times, and they forced the Rams to turn over the ball on downs five times, Frankie. And that's a little bit on the coaches, I would say, because there were some fourth down attempts that didn't make sense. It's like they were playing with Madden rules out there. Yeah, and if you give Hillmar a good field position, you know what they're going to do with it. And that is something that Hillmar's next opponent knows fully well because Hillmar is going to be taking on Escalon High. That's right, a matchup of rivals from the Trans Valley League facing off for the Division Five Championship. Escalon is the number one seed in the bracket and this is their fifth section title appearance since 2011. And this is the fourth time in the past decade that the Cougars and Yellow Jackets face off for a blue banner. In 2019, Escalon came out on top, but in the 2017 and 2011 seasons, it was the Yellow Jackets who emerged victorious, so they lead the Blue Banner series 2-1 to one in the past decade. And of course, this will also be a rematch from the regular season where Escalon handed Hilmar one of its two losses. And this Division 5 championship matchup will take place Saturday at St. Mary's High in Stockton with a kickoff slated for 6 p.m. You can find that episode as well as a potential bonus episode at turlockjournal.com and you can find all other updates on social media. We're talking Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook if you follow at Turlock Journal. So until next week, I'm Frankie Tovar. I'm Angelina Martin. Thank you for tuning in to The Blitz.